Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to share with you how you can upload your files and organize them into folders using webstarts and then how you can ultimately use those files to create your website, but also to share those files online with your colleagues. Before I dive in, I'd like to invite you to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and similar topics. Let's dive in and take a look. To get started, go to webstarch.com, and if you haven't already done so, click Get Started. It's free to sign up and create a new account. On the next step, you'll see that you're able to select a design for a website, choose any one of them. All of them are 100% customizable and can be changed at any time so you can't make a mistake. Once you select it, you'll be asked for the normal signup information, for example, your name, email address, as well as choose a password. I've already signed up for an account, so I'm going back to the homepage and clicking the login button. From there, I'm going to log into my existing account. The first time that I log in, I have multiple websites displayed you might only have one and if you only see one website you'll be in the dashboard view which i will get to by clicking select a website to make edits and changes to a specific website scrolling down the page i click on the files and folders application and this is where i can see all of the files that i've uploaded to my web starts cloud you can upload new files by clicking the upload button selecting those files from your local computer and then after a few moments they're uploaded you can browse your files by type. Just click images to see all your images, videos to see your videos, music, documents, that sort of thing. Down below, you can create some custom folders, but there are two folders that will always be there by default. One is called unsorted. These are files that you have yet to designate to a specific folder, and the other one is deleted files. These are files that you've deleted from your file manager, but they can be restored for up to seven days in case you deleted them by mistake. I've created a custom folder called logos. You can do that by clicking create folder, give the folder a name and click okay, and then it'll be created. I've already created this one called logos and now I'm gonna show you how you can drag and drop files into your custom folders. So here I've got a logo, I drag it over to logos, I've placed it into the logos folder and now it's displayed within the logos folder. If I want to take a look at any one of these files and see a closer preview, I can click on the preview link. I can also change the file name by clicking on the edit icon that is displayed when I hover over the file as well as the delete icon that will delete it or put it into the deleted files folder for the next seven days. I can then click the share icon and what that will do is it will give me a unique URL for that file that I can then click copy. I have it copied to my clipboard and I can send that via text message or email or however else you want to send that link. When you go into the Web Starts page editor by clicking on edit site, all of these files will be available and you'll be able to find them neatly organized in your folders if you've specified or sent them to a specific folder. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to see more videos from me and I'll see you next time.